The Islanders hadn't been on the road on the real road trip in about three weeks. Seven straight games in the tri-state area. They get on the road tonight, and they have to play a strong game against the Boston Bruins. You have to like the way they started this hockey game in the first period. Well, well yes, and, and not just because they got the first goal, but but they, they were on their toes, and, and they were playing the, the smart game. They, they were chipping the puck in. They were chasing it, and they had the puck retrieval. was great. You see Andrews Lee, and then they get it on the puck, and Matt Barzell doing his thing with getting his feet moving, and then the quick pass over to Mayfield. But you can see the Islanders Lee's in front, and now they're driving to the net. Look at the Islanders have three guys looking for that loose puck in this lead that finally scores so that's really an indication you know of what do you want to see from the Islanders when they're in that offensive situation and I thought they did that a whole lot in the first period. Anders Lee scores his eighth goal of the season picks up point number 19 he had four shots on goal that's good to see for Anders Lee who played just over 19 minutes on the game tonight. So a one nothing lead for the Islanders after the first and in the second, uh, kind of a back and forth period, and it came down to special teams in the second period. Islanders power play struggle continued. They had just one opportunity in the game and on that second period, and then the Boston Bruins get their first power play and they make quick work of it. Yeah, and then, you know, the special teams, they, they shouldn't have played a battle and in, in, uh, made the difference tonight, but they did. Boston was able to score in a power play goal. Nice play by Prash and a cross ice dump was, little, and they won the race into the corner, and then the Islanders get a bad break as, you know, Sasekas goes out to block that Tory Krug and it bounces right off his leg, right onto Pasternak. I mean, he's an all star, he's an elite hockey player. And just look at the move, he's got his head up, takes it to his backhand, and that really creates the opportunity for, for Marshan to slap it into what I would call an empty net. So, a uh, power play goal, and that's all they needed to get themselves into the game. Fourth power play goal of the season for Marshan, who has eight on the season, and uh, or eight, excuse me, against the Islanders, seven on the season for Brad Marshan. Of course, Marshan and Pasternak are playing without. Patrice Bergeron in this hockey game. Well, if you talk about this game, you have to talk about Robin Leonard, his performance uh, through regulation, through overtime, and in the shootout. There's not much more he could have done in this hockey game. He, he played tremendous, and, and watching the goal, and we talked about it during the game, is that, you know, he, he, he looked like he was playing as a very confident individual. Uh, he, he, there wasn't a lot of movement to his game. He was squaring himself up, and his movement was real good. And, you know, we always talk about goaltenders. You can tell right away whether they're going to have a good game or a bad game, and you could see from some of his early saves that he was in the groove. He had, had a good mood to his, the way he was playing and he made some spectacular saves, especially that one on on uh, DeBrus late in the hockey game that really allowed the Islanders to to have a have a point so a good bounce back effect for for, for Robin uh, who had struggled a little bit since uh, since the injury so yeah now Barry has two goaltenders that are ready to play for him. All right let's talk about the end of the game we'll talk about the controversy if you will in overtime the Islanders thought they had won this the goal didn't stand Barry Trotz the referees didn't see eye to eye on it. No, well, you never, you know, the, the one coach is going to say it's a good call. The other coach is going to say it's not a very good call. But you know, Anthony Bovillia goes in there and DeBrusque is, is also there. So they, they're colliding. And I, I, when I look at it, I, I wonder if, if Tuka Rask could have made the save. And that's really the most important part. But here's where Tuka Rask came up big. He makes a big save on a semi breakaway on Everly. And then Matt Barzal clear and another reaching save by Tuka Rask. So that was really the difference maker is that the Isles couldn't score on the breakouts. Donato is the only one that can score on a break on. He makes a nice move on, on uh, Robin Leonard. So the, uh, the Bruins in a, in a, in a tough game uh, it was a way where I thought either team could win and, and one of them was going to be a little bit disappointed.